Oh, so it is a bank holiday Monday in England. So it's the grey weather. Australians say England is the long grey cloud. And I can't disagree. I've bought the newspapers. I'm going to give you some vocabulary from the back pages. See you in the classroom. So let's look at some vocabulary from the back pages. So the back page headlines this week. Well, today, after Chelsea won the Champions League final, we have in the Daily Mirror, we have local hero. So Herr is German, is a German word for Mr. So like Mr. Smith, Herr Smith. So local hero, Thomas Tuckel is German. Triumphant Tuckel to get new Blues deal. So I think he is extending his contract and will base family in London as he vows to build a bigger Roman Empire. So Roman Empire, Roman Abramovich, the Italian Roman Empire. Yeah, so he's staying for a longer time. Some more. On the back of the Daily Mirror, we also have bees are buzzing because Brentford are now promoted. They are in the Premier League. They beat Swansea 2-0. Their nickname is the bees and they are buzzing. So a, the sound a bee makes is a buzzing sound. Zzz. But if you are buzzing, it's a phrase, it's slang. In British English, it means you are happy. If you are happy about something, you can say, yeah, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing. Yeah, he's buzzing, he's buzzing with that. It means they are happy. So the bees are buzzing, they are happy. Also, yesterday, Blackpool got promoted from League One to the Championship, so Blackpool Power. So Blackpool is a seaside resort in Northern England, in the Northwest. And there is a tower. It's famous for having a, a tower that looks like the Eiffel Tower. So Blackpool Power, Blackpool Tower is the pun here. Also, let's see inside the Daily Express. Well, the back page is the magic touch. So CH in Thomas Tuckle's name is a K sound. But also CH can be a CH sound in English. So here, the pun is the magic touch. So he has the magic touch, Thomas Tuckle. I'm in for the long haul. Long haul, like a long haul flight at Roman's Empire. So he's staying for a long time. He's signed a new contract, I think, or he has extended his contract. Also, an interesting word on the back of this paper is croc. So De Bruyne, Euro fear for croc De Bruyne. A croc is a noun and it means somebody who is injured. So he is a croc means he gets injured a lot, maybe in football. So he, yes, yeah, so De Bruyne, he doesn't get injured a lot, but he may miss the start of the, or the, the European, yeah, the European Championship, which starts in two weeks, I think. So there are a lot of puns I saw over the weekend, which changed Thomas the K in Thomas Tuckle to a ch. So magic touch, the golden touch, the Midas touch from the Greek legend, I think. Also on the Daily Star, light the blue touch paper. So light the blue touch paper is a phrase in English, or the blue tuck paper is a phrase in English which, which is on fireworks usually. So you, you light the piece of paper to set off a firework. So it comes from that and it means it's you're starting something exciting. You have, yeah, you lit the blue touch paper or you, yeah, you, to light the touch paper means to start something exciting. Oh, what's this? Look at this coming out of the paper here. We have some stickers. Panini stickers for the UEFA Euro 2020. Alexander Arnold, Andy Robertson, Aaron Ramsey, Georgi Zhikia from Russia, Kamil Glick, 
Elif Elmas. <laughs> I don't know the, a couple of these players. But yes, yeah, so stickers. We call these stickers and we collect them. When you are younger, when I was younger, I collected them. Got, got, need. And you swap stickers with your friends in school. Okay. So let's look inside the papers a little bit for some more vocabulary. So here we have... <clears throat> Chelsea, the untouchables. So again, this CH reads as a ch rather than a k in his name. The untouchables, no, the untouchables, because this is a famous movie, wasn't it? Or a famous TV series. The untouchables, they, yeah, they played really well, Chelsea. So he has only been at the Chelsea helm for 125 days. So, yeah, they, Frank Lampard started the season manager, <coughs> as manager of Chelsea. So, at the helm is a nice phrase. At the helm, I think it comes from sailing. If you are at the helm, you are the captain of the ship. And it also means you are like the manager, the boss. He is at the helm. He is the CEO. Maybe you can use it in business. Okay, let's see. Oof, this is a long phrase. So, from thinker. To tinker. So tinker is a verb. So to tinker, and it's a verb used in football for somebody, for a manager who changes his team every match. <clears throat> so, yeah, Claudio Ranieri was famously the tinker man because he would rotate. Rotate is a bit more positive. Tinker is a little bit negative about changing your team. Claudio Ranieri would tinker with his team. He would rotate his team every match. Now, a lot of coaches do it, but I think Pep, in the big match, he overthinks things. He, he always does something. They've lost, yeah, they've lost to Liverpool, Leon. Who else have they lost to in recent years? I'm not sure. Um, but they've lost when maybe they shouldn't. Maybe because Pep has changed the team. He, he didn't play Rodri or Fernandino for the first time in 60 matches. They didn't start a match for Manchester City. He went with Gundogan, De Bruyne and um, Bernardo Silva in midfield. And they didn't have, they didn't, um, yeah, their midfield was overrun, especially by N'Golo Kante. So here, Pep's entire midfield were beaten by one man entire is a nice word entire it's an adjective like the whole the complete entire the entire midfield were beaten by one man N'Golo Kante yeah he was very impressive okay so from th let's finish this sorry from thinker to tinker Pep may have got his tactics all wrong but the cruel truth was simple his team were totally outplayed this is a nice word, outplayed. <clears throat> yeah, they didn't, the Chelsea were the better team. They were outplayed man v man, man for man, usually we say, all over the pitch. So it's a pitch. It's not a field, it's a pitch. But this, no one will be doubting Thomas now. So a doubting Thomas. This comes from the Bible. Yeah, the apostle, a Tom. Thomas didn't believe that Jesus had come back from the dead, Jesus' resurrection, until he saw him. So he was a doubting Thomas. And it's a phrase in English, a doubting some Thomas. So Thomas Tuckle, no one is doubting Thomas now. He's been, yeah, Chelsea, the defence is very strong, isn't it? They're, yeah, he's organised the defence very well. <clears throat> Another headline here about Brentford getting promoted to the Premier League. So it's a very, um, was it the £100 million pound match? I think somebody called it recently. Finally, it's Swarm. So this one, finally, it's Swarm. So the nickname, the bees, a lot of bees together is a swarm of bees. Also in the UK, well now, it's finally warm. It was raining for a long time. It's now gone a little bit warmer. It was sunny when they won the match yesterday. So finally, it's swarm. Warm, swarm. Okay, this person here. Kev out to make life L again for Adams. So his name is Kevin Ellison. I used to, when I was younger, play against him. 
He is the same age as me. He is 42, I think. I am 41, almost 42. And I used to play against him at youth level for schools. He was quite a skinny left midfielder when I played against him, but he is still playing. And he scored a goal in the semi-final. He is playing in the League Two playoff final today against his old club. So his old club last season, Morecambe. So Morecambe versus Newport today. Morecambe, let him go, is a phrase we say. He, they did not renew his contract and he's really excited to play against them. He scored in the league match against Morecambe and he ran up to the manager and was in his face after he scored. So yeah, it'll be a good match today. Good luck to Kevin Ellison. Let's look at the Daily Express. So the Prime Minister got married a few days ago. Okay, so the magic touch. This is just the start. So yes, Chelsea have a really good squad. They invest a lot. Who was man of the match in this? Man of the match, Kante got a nine. Mason Mount got a nine. Rhys James played well, he got an eight. And Kai Havertz got an eight. I think officially Kai Havertz got the man of the match. Humboldt City, just a pale imitation of the triumphant blues. I think this is a really clever headline because a pale imitation of, a pale imitation of something, you're just not quite as good as something. If you're a pale imitation of something, so maybe, um, Coca-Cola and maybe another brand of Coca-Cola is a pale imitation of Coca-Cola, maybe so. And also, so in the final, it was the light blues versus the dark blues. And the dark blues won, so a pale imitation. Pale, pale means like light in color. Just pale blue, for example. Just a pale imitation of the triumphant blues. It's a clever headline, I think. The bee's knees. So again, it's about Brentford coming into the Premier League. They have an interesting background, Brentford. They use the money ball system for their transfer policy. That's all about stats. They've got a good foundation to, do, to be successful in the Premier League, I think. The bee's knees. So again, their nickname is the bees. And the bee's knees in British English means to be happy. I don't know where this comes from, actually. So if it's the bee's knees, it means it's really good. No, it's the best. If it's the bee's knees, it's like the dog's bollocks. <laughs> the bee's knees means it's really good. The dog's bollocks is British English for something that's really good as well. Okay, the Daily Star. Let's look inside. Touchdown. Another bit of um, touchdown is play on the word. Pep's holy fail. So again, Pep Guardiola is being attacked for this. He's an amazing manager, but Guardiola has only himself to blame. I do think it was a mistake not playing Rodri or Fernandinho. So the holy fail. So Pep Guardiola and Manchester City really want to win the Champions League. So that again, this comes from the Bible. So this is a pun about the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail is like, wasn't it the, in Indiana Jones, the Holy Grail is, is a water where you drink it and you have immortality. So for Pep, it's like the pinnacle. It's what he's aiming for. It's, it's the best thing. It's the Holy Grail, something that you're aiming for. So holy fail for Pep Guardiola. Okay. That's it. I think that's all the vocabulary. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.